When I first started playing the guitar, I think uh, uh, there's just a couple of things that I would do, uh, like playing an E chord in this position, um, and then an A chord in this position, and then a B chord in this position. But the thing about that is it didn't allow the totally the um, the top strings to, to ring out. And one of the things in, in modern music that you find is that there's a lot of kind of ringing out of, of open, open strings. There's a lot of that going on. Just to give you an example, this is the same progression, but this time I'm going to use open strings more, the top two strings. <laughs> idea there is that basically the strings are, are uh, sustaining through that so instead of playing um, uh, basically bar chords you're trying to keep uh, the chord sustaining as much as you can and that's also true let's say you're in the G position you want to try to keep this G on top the whole time so you're you're going like that kept the G on top and also the D as well as I was going from one, four, five. That's the same kind of thing. And you can do that uh, also uh, in the A position as well. A little harder to keep that A on top. But each of the idea is to keep uh, basically a common tone in every position that you're in. In the key of C, you're keeping the, keeping the G on top. In the key of D, keep the keep the A on top. Um, basically, what I found is getting away from bar chords and breaking chords down. Uh, it's about what they sound like um, when you're when you're playing on a on a track. <laughs> 